so all of you mute your mic so today we are going to start case study question number 6 and uh, while doing case study question so this is the example uh, this is the question number 6 I have already uploaded 5 questions and listen carefully what I want to uh, tell you about regarding case study based question you will get 15 minutes reading time in uh, your board exam 15 minutes time so what you will do that 15 minutes time I'm not telling that fully 15 minutes time you try to utilize maximum time for the case study based questions during that time that will be help you uh, for uh, solving other questions in time otherwise if you calculate the total number of questions that is all together 48 questions are there so sabse pehle kya karna hai jab bhi 15 minutes ka reading time mil raha hai even turant you go through the uh, case study based questions all four case study based questions thode jitne easy lag rahe you can uh, you, if you are going to find the direct answer from the graph or from the data you can put a tick mark and that is the uh, first uh, uh, planning you have to do and you have to do this planning in this uh, sunday's uh, sample paper test ek bar karke dekho 15 minutes reading time go wrong 15 minutes reading time mein case study based questions attempt karo attempt means likhna nahi hai just you go through and take the correct possible answers okay is that clear to all of you yes sir. yes sir okay and i will give some tips also uh, i am planning to record one video uh, of uh, giving tips how to um, go through how to do the preparation before examination and during examination and how to, how much time you have to give for one more question two more question that some planning i am doing I, I will make and i will let you know so this question is regarding junk food uh, healthy food and uh, junk food okay so junk food is unhealthy food that is high in calories from sugar or fat with little dietary fiber protein vitamins minerals or other important forms of nutritional value a sample of few students have taken if alpha be the number of students who take junk food and if beta be the number of students who take healthy food such that alpha is greater than beta this condition is given and alpha and beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square minus 7x plus 10 then answer the following question so first type what is the type of expression of the polynomial in the uh, given statement what is the answer quadratic quadratic because quadratic. the degree is 2 so that is quadratic polynomial now the second one find the number of students who take junk food that means we have to solve that uh, that given quadratic polynomial so quadratic polynomial the given quadratic polynomial is x square minus 7x plus 10 we will equate with 0 to find the zeros now see the product what is product here plus 10 plus 10 and what is the sum here minus, minus 7. 7 minus 7 right and uh, now uh, as product is 10 so what we have to do we have to find the two factors of this such that the sum will be equal to 7 find out the two factors of 10 5 and 2 right 5 and 2 now the product is positive that means both are positive or both are negative who will decide sum sum is negative so both are negative so we got the factors minus 5 minus 2 okay so we'll split minus 7x as minus 5x minus 2x plus 10 is equal to 0 now what is the common between these two x in and x. here 2. 2 minus 2 will take okay so if we take x common we'll get x into x minus 5 minus 2 common linge to x minus 5 aega fir you have to take x minus 5 common so we'll get two factors x minus 5 into x minus 2 is equal to 0 so what are the values 5 and 5. 2 right 5 and 2 now the condition for alpha is alpha is greater than beta so what is the value of alpha 5 5, five. and what is the value of beta 2. 2. So alpha is the number of students who take junk food. So what is the answer of this question? 5. Five. First bit. Okay. And next question, find the number of students who take healthy food. 2. 2. Second two. bit. Okay. 2. 
Now we'll move towards the, the third question. Find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are minus 3 and minus alpha. So you can take the first one as alpha and the second one as beta. So what we have to do? First we have to find alpha plus beta. Okay, sum of ratio uh, for sum of zeros. And next we have to find alpha into beta. Okay, so what is alpha plus beta? If sum of zeros? Minus 7. Minus minus seven. seven. Okay, very good. And what is the product of zeros? 12. 12. 12. Plus 12. Okay, fine. So we can use one more formula directly without using, if you don't want to use alpha and beta, you can use directly. Sum of zeros, minus 7. Product of zeros, 12 plus 12. And x square. What is the quadratic for, uh, polynomial formula in terms of uh, x, uh, alpha beta? x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. Very good. x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. Or we can write in this way also. x square minus sum of zeros x plus product of zeros. For this question steps are not important. This is the explanation only. Because you may have some doubt that ki are hum loko pura solve karna padega. You can do it on rough also. Okay. Only uh, examiner will check the correct answer. Fine. Now we'll substitute the value x square minus minus of seven plus twelve. So what is the final answer? X, x plus uh, well, x plus twelve minus seven plus twelve. X square plus seven x plus twelve. So what is the correct option here? Four. 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 of this because this option is not given. Okay, now the last one, if one zero of the polynomial is two, then find the other zero. So let the other zero be alpha and this first zero is given two. So what is the value of a here? What is the value of a here? One. What is the value of b here? Minus five. Okay, what is the value of c? It's six. six. Okay, so what is the formula for a sum of zeros? Minus b, by a. Right, minus, minus b by a. a. So minus of minus 5 by a. The value of a is 1. Okay, so what we will get? 5. So the sum of zeros that is alpha plus 2 is equals to 5. So if we shift plus 2 to this side, this will become minus 2. And what we will get? Alpha. If we shift plus 2 to this side, it will become minus 2. So 5 minus 2 is what? 3. 3. We will get 3. So what is the correct option? 4. None of this. Okay. So this is uh, uh, the case study based question number 6. Now we will, uh, next we will see the case number, uh, question number 7. Okay. So up, this question is up to here. Okay. Thank you.